To demonstrate osmosis, we have two containers full of different liquids, one of which is water and the other of which is our supersaturated sugar solution. So how does osmosis work? Well, if you have two solutions of different concentrations separated by a semi-permeable membrane that allows the solvent to pass through the membrane and not the solute to pass through the membrane, then when you have a higher concentration on one side, the side that has a lower concentration will diffuse through the membrane to the higher concentration side in order to dilute it until the concentrations have equalized. This process of diffusion across the membrane is known as osmosis. To demonstrate osmosis, we have a container of regular water and a container of supersaturated sugar solution. The osmotic membrane between these two will be a, a thin film of kidney dialysis tubing. This tubing allows for the influx of water but does not allow for the pass of the sugar solution. Therefore, when we place our thimble within our container of water, the situation that we have described here is now in play. We have water on one side, which is a low concentration. We have a supersaturated sugar solution on the other side, which is a high concentration. And the membrane in between will allow the influx of water to uh, enter the sugar solution in order to try to dilute it and reduce the concentration. We have dyed our sugar solution red in order to show you that for sure the water is what is entering the membrane and not the sugar solution in the reverse direction. Over time, that level will rise. Therefore, we are going to start with our indicator rod at the beginning to show you where the level started. And then at the end, you will see that it has indeed increased. So let's go ahead and observe that. 